So, this is the uh, MS uh, rod. We will going to test this specimen and find the strength of this material. Uh, initially, we have to, it is a one complete round bar. Um, to check its strength, we need to machine in this uh, required shape as a, it is shown here. Uh, it should be machined and uh, here it should be the gauge length that has to be machined and uh, the diameter, its diameter has to be made uh, up to 10 mm and uh, here it is at 20 mm and the total length is uh, two, uh, 300 and uh, the gauge length is uh, 88. 88. <coughs> this is the standard procedure that is uh, for the standard specimen we keep uh, with this uh, specifications. So, you can uh, keep as per your requirement and you can test according to that one, but uh, for the standard one we are having these uh, gauge length is of uh, 300 and uh, sorry uh, length total length is 300, diameter is 10, this diameter and this one is uh, 20 and uh, gauge length is of uh, 88 we will going to keep. This is somewhat standard, so we have to follow that one. Next, uh, you can check that one diameter with the vernier and uh, using vernier. Uh, you can see this one is uh, near to the 10 and then next this is near to the 15 it is ok, it is uh, ok, you can keep it as 20, 15, but as for your requirement you have to change that one and the total length you can see this one gauge length it is of uh, 88 it is and the total length is of uh, 300 it is, it is up to the 300 more than 300 ok, it is fine. So, let us see first of all the setup, this is a digital controller, control board and here are some settings that are required to be made. Uh, so, here it is a um, deflection it will going to displacement that will going to show or it called as extension and uh, over here it is a load it will represent that is in the, it is in the presently it is in the kilo Newton and uh, then here are setting a reset para, uh, tere and uh, here uh, plot it is there, you can plot that graph and everything and here it is a function, function it is and it is a screen, scroll, enter, you can enter the values by this, uh, pressing these values. So, let us start the entering the values. <coughs> Very, sir. So, this is the load application that is uh, while applying the load we have to initially this has to be kept uh, close and then when once machine is started you can open, open this one, uh, it will start applying the load and here it is um, uh, pressure relief fall. Once the jo uh, load is, uh, uh, job is placed and at that time you have to close this one and then Again, uh, after experiment conduction, you have to open this one. So, uh, when uh, the experiment is on process, you have, you should need to close this one. You have to keep this close. And here, this is up and down. This is up for uh, up is for the moment of this uh, jaws. That is the lower jaw. There is the upper jaw, and uh, here it is the lower jaw. The moment of this one, uh, you can do. That is uh, lower jaw and upper jaw. Here normally the upper jaw is kept constant and the lower jaw is going to move up and down as per this. There are different types of the setups you can use that one. Uh, for the now we are going to see the tensile test uh, for that setup. You can do compression as well as more different kinds, kinds of the tests you can do that one. But uh, normally we are going to have uh, this is set up for the tensile test. Tensile is nothing but pulling and uh, finding the strength of that material. Here uh, there are uh, three tests which uh, can we do, do on this one, tensile test, bending test and the uh, compression test, we have to set uh, like this. Uh, now we are going to perform the tensile test, so we will keep it for the tensile. Uh, next, 
uh, that is torsion compression. Now it has been set for the tensile test. So let us uh, open first of all or close that one pressure wall and then set up let us see what are the setups uh, function you have to click then uh, enter you should click next serial number experiment number 1 and then enter press once again enter and then it is a gauge length already we have measured that one 88 gauge length next enter it will ask the total length that you have to enter that is uh, 300 next uh, diameter specimen diameter that is uh, 20 10 83 11 that is the diameter you can see this one thickness is there diameter take re 10 mm ha diameter is a 10 and uh, next enter uh, thickness zero no thickness is there and uh, breadth is not there enter then serial number 1 okay finally you have to press uh, star button and then uh, it will start job sure. here it is the specimen is uh, we, we have to fix in the upper jaw and uh, then uh, we have to plus that one you can do the moment So, you have to fix that one. So, now it has been fixed between the gauge length. Now, on and then apply the pressure to you know, a little camera now. Ready, General? 